What's up, YouTube? It's Mr. Best Kept Secret here, and guess what? I'm back. I'm coming at you with a game of hide and seek. You can find it on the Hive on Minecraft, and I'm just going to explain a little bit on why I was away for an extended period of time. Um, first off, there was a huge power surge in my house, and it blew everything. It blew out my TV. It blew out my Xbox. It blew out everything. So. With that being said, I realize it's it kind of it sucks for you guys who want to watch my videos, and it sucks for even me because I didn't even get to play any games whatsoever. So I'm just I'm deciding to throw up some uh, computer recordings here for you guys, just so that you guys have something to watch that's mine. And also, I moved to a completely new city, so I had to take time to pack up all my stuff. I had to take time to move. I'm actually recording this the first day that I'm here, just so that I make sure I get out some sort of product and some sort of video to you guys. As uh, in hide and seek, you get placed as a block, so I'm a jukebox block, and I decided to hide right on the top because not a lot of people actually come up here, so it would be definitely interesting to see what happens this game and I'm just gonna update you guys on what I'm doing for my series so for my series Colby Champ Hunter I'm probably gonna just move it into NCAA 14 once I get all of my supplies ready and recording and with the other side of Colby I'm gonna do the exact same thing I'm just gonna wait until I can get my stuff uploaded and until I can get my uh, recording all set up and everything like that because I'm doing kind of a makeshift recording studio right now. And as we see in the game, we get equipped with a knockback wooden sword, which I'm just flailing around there. And uh, the point of the game is the hiders have to hide from the seeker, and if the seeker ends up killing a hider, then they become a seeker. And you're supposed to last, I believe it's three minutes, but I'm not 100% sure. Or sorry, no, I believe it's. 300 seconds I'm not 100% sure how long it is but um this is actually my first game playing this and I really didn't know what to expect it was pretty interesting to uh watch the seeker uh, get killed a bunch of times but as you can see I'm a jukebox block and you have to stay in one spot for you to become a solid state block just like it looks like you're part of the environment and so since I can't do any console recording for you guys, I was wondering if you want to vote in the comment section down below. Would you like me to do a Civilization uh, playthrough or I have another game, I have another couple games on my laptop. So I might be able to record some of that for you guys. So just uh, leave a like if you want for this video and then also uh, comment in the comments down below what you guys would like me to play. And as you can see, I'm just looking around, making sure that no one's able to uh, see me here. So there's 145 seconds left. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. There's only five Seekers, 14 Hiders. And uh, it's going to be pretty exciting to see what happens in this game. Oh, also, with my NHL Be a GM mode series, I'm going to keep that up. And just the same thing as the Colby, Colby Hunter series. If once I get all of my recording stuff together and once I get it all uh, set up then I'll record and I'll have a lot more pro I'll have a lot more videos and a lot more product out for you guys because it's not fair for you guys as the viewers to wait for so long to have a video out for me and for those who stuck around I really really do appreciate it it means a lot to me to be perfectly honest with you guys and so like I said, I'll have a couple games on my laptop here. I'll just uh, I'll rattle off a couple of the ones that I have. I have uh, Civilization. I have NBA Jam. I have uh, the Game Developers Tycoon. And uh, I have Out of the Park Baseball 13. And I also have Minecraft. So I was thinking if you guys want to see different videos of Minecraft from me. Um, it's not my number one game that I want to play, but it's at the moment it's it is one of the only games i have to play at the moment so if you guys like the video and you guys like uh how if you guys like me do recording minecraft stuff tell me what kind of game i should play and stuff like that as you can see i did die there i was really disappointed i thought i had a good spot but um since there's not much time left you're just going into the rocket ship and trying to see if there's any sort of blocks that or any sort of hot hiders that are left in here 
But like I said, go down in the comment section down below, leave a comment, and uh, I'll definitely see if I can get what game I should get so that nobody feels left out whatsoever. And as you can see, there's 10 seconds left, so I'm just trying to break a bunch of blocks. So like I said, leave a comment in the comment section down below, and you can always tell me what game I should play, and I'll try to get uh, some footage out for that as soon as possibly can and the hires of one so I'll see you in the next game Hey, how's it going guys? So I was wondering for my next series in the game and see the wondering for NCAA 14 Would you like me to start a new dynasty or would you like me to stay with Western Kentucky? Um, it's all up to you guys like I said I just want to see the comments down in the comment section down below It'd be greatly appreciated because really I'm doing this a because I like making the videos, but also because I like people seeing my product and people seeing what I like to do and my not necessarily quality of gameplay because I'm not exactly great at this game, but um, it could be fun to see how you guys uh, enjoy the series or where it could be gone. All right, so I am a block of coal in this game, and this could be interesting. There's not a lot of I don't think there's a lot of spots for coal to hide. Ah, uh, there's no spots open there, so. As I'm running around here, I was just thinking also, um, I was thinking about doing a special series because when I'm at university, I'm going to be staying in residence and I was wondering what kind of series you'd like as, cause I'm going to have a roommate. So I'd be able to play games with my roommate possibly and throw up some commentaries of that, have some live commentaries with me and my roommate as I think I find a good spot here, but I'm just not hundred percent sure if I can stay here because of the blocks because they're half blocks and you have to be able to hide on a full block as there's a beacon in the bathroom as well so i'm going to try and see if i can hide here all right so it can't tell me that i can't hide so maybe maybe i can just sit here maybe uh, i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm gonna see if i can try and oh no, i think this is a half block too but we'll certainly check and uh, also, I was wondering, you guys, if uh, I only have Civilization Gods and Kings, and would you like to see the new Civilization that's come out? Um, what Also, what kind of, um, what tribe you'd like to see, or what uh, Civilization you'd like to see me represent? And as I'm, <laughs> I'm really scared at this point, because I haven't found a spot yet to stay in, but there is three, three Seekers, and I just need to find a good spot to hide in, so... I got equipped with a sword now, which is pretty good. At least I can try and uh, fight them off, I guess. But I found this spot. I really don't like it. So we might move in a bit. And uh, just taking a look around. There is another beacon block next to us, I think, in the bathroom over there. But, um, yeah, like I said, whatever you guys want to see me do with NCAA 14, would you also like to see me do an Ultimate, Te Ultimate Team series, which uh, I kind of got started on. But as I just run out of the bathroom here, I want to try and find another spot because that's way too obvious for me to be sitting in the bathroom like that. And so what kind of stuff would you like to see in terms of that? Would you like to see my team that in that kind of perspective already? How I've uh, put some of my coins to good use. And also I was wondering what you'd like to see me do with Minecraft, which I've already posed that question earlier in the video. I was thinking about because there I do play on a village craft server where... You can own your own village, so I could give you guys a tour of the village. I could show you who's all in it as I start running here. And I'm just trying to look for another spot. And I think I found one. Yeah, I think I'm safe here for a little bit. And, uh... So I'm just going to ask you guys on your opinion. I'll, uh, I think I'll be, I think I'll keep posting hide and seek as I find a seeker there. I'm just going to try and get past him. And I died. So here we are as a seeker now trying to find others hiders and I was just wondering if like I said comment in the video it means a lot to me leave a like even subscribe if you're new it's great to see new viewers on my channel even though I haven't posted a lot lately if not at all but I'm definitely gonna be posting more regularly now that I'm gonna have all my recording stuff together and let's just see how the rest of this game goes I was wondering if that beacon block was still in there but I guess not so we're just going to keep running around here. Alright, and we're looking for 
more hiders. So, so I feel, I'm not sure if I explained the game or not. So the game is hide and seek, like the classic traditional game that you played as a kid, probably. So, except for in Minecraft, you get placed as a block, and you get a certain block that you're allowed to be, and the map is not the same every time it's randomly generated with different blocks missing so say if you're a snow block and or a wool block you might be able to hide in these spots right here as i'm trying to check and once you stay there and look in one spot for five seconds your the block in your inventory will start to glow as if it's enchanted so then that means you're a solid block and it, you're lined up perfectly with the other blocks and if you don't do that you'll look probably off center or different like you're not supposed to be there so the point of the game is to hide and hopefully not get caught. But if uh, if all this if all the hiders keep uh, keep beating the seekers and keep uh, killing them, then it will make it a harder for the seeker and b the the hiders get points based on how long they've hidden for and if they've killed a seeker or not. And those points can be used towards purchasing stuff on the Hive, which is what I'm playing on right now. And uh, so as you can see, there's five seconds left and there's four hiders left. And I don't think we're going to find them. And as it counts down, three, two, one, and it's done. And I keep trying to find the extra hiders, but I'll see you in the next game. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm back here. And it's kind of lagging at this point in time, but... Um, I just wanted to also preface this video with saying to my current subscribers right now, thanks for sticking around. It does mean a lot that you guys have stuck with me, even though I haven't posted in about a month, which really does suck. For, well, it sucks for me, but also sucks for you guys because I really like making, um, I really like making these videos for you guys. I also like making the videos for myself, but mainly I make it for you guys. As we are now in a town setting for this game, and I am an I am an anvil block. As you can see, it's randomly generated every time for there to be gaps. So there might be a cobblestone block able to hide in that little area if you scroll back. And I'm just looking for where anvil gaps might be. But as you can see, you only get, I think it's only 15 or 20 seconds to hide. And then you have to choose a spot. So I can't see a spot that an anvil will hide. And the seeker is coming to get us already. This is not good. Uh, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble here. Just going to try and find a spot. This is my last opportunity to try and be out in the open. I can't find a spot. And we're trying to get through and we drop. So I think we might stick here for a little bit. Or actually, no. Because that you kind of want to hide where the seeker can see you. Not just in a random spot like that. I, that just doesn't make the game fun. It doesn't make it fun for you guys to watch either. So during this entire game, uh, it's... Uh, it's pretty hectic so far because we're at 260 seconds almost right now and I still haven't found a hiding spot. I think I'm just going to stick right here because, you know, it looks like there might, there might be another anvil here. And uh seems like a solid spot to be in. As you can see, a wood block bouncing around in the water there. And uh, also, if any of you guys um, want to see a different game that might be played, like a like any other sort of sports games or anything like that as I find another gap in the anvils here right where the seeker is I uh, we get the knockback wooden sword and we are a solid anvil block now which means that we look like one of the anvil blocks that is right across from us fully in line looks like there is no different uh, qualities or traits about us as an anvil and uh, in this game so far, it's pretty interesting because the Seeker's right there and he decides to run away, which is, oh, that's good for us. So, also guys, would you like to see anything like uh, basketball related? I know 2K14 is coming out. Um, would you like me to do a 2K14 uh, the association mode or a my player mode? I've always liked the 2K my player mode because it always does... Um, it always does such a great job with kind of not telling its own story, but it's it makes you really work for the minutes that you get unless you kind of cheese the game and put it on either a lower difficulty or just try to score the entire time. I play realistically when it comes to these sports games. Um, yeah, it might be a shocker that I might beat a team, but I, it's because I just play the game realistically and I try to make it as realistic as possible. 
while trying to win the game myself. So, like, a team like in NCAA 14, like Old Dominion, if they were going to go up against Alabama, in real life it wouldn't even be close. It'd be a slaughterhouse, right? But maybe, like, if I play realistically, there might be a slight chance, right? Because it is a video game. So there's always a chance for the underdogs to come out and win. And for my NCAA 14 series, I was thinking about going with one of the newer teams, but I'm open to any teams that could be... Uh, a lower prestige but what I was also thinking about doing as we start to run through this house because I was getting a little bit scared staying there so I'll try to hide in this corner here but it might be a bit too obvious for the seekers to find me but um what I was thinking about doing is a series with or a uh, sorry a dynasty with Penn State having the same sort of uh, restrictions that they have at Penn State right now because they are one of my favorite college football teams even though uh, what the events of last year did to the program and I was thinking about doing like where you only have the limited amount of scholarships as I see a seeker coming I just run right up the run right up the uh, stairs there because if I see them come through I can always just drop down the hole and hide somewhere else so like I was saying I'm gonna I wanted to do the uh the same thing that they kind of have at Penn State there. As I see the seeker come in, he looks like he's looking around. He's going to come up the stairs. I'm going to drop through this hole, all right? And then that was probably a big mistake. I should have probably ran outside. But he looks around, and there is no... There, he, I think he left. I think he left. Oh, no, he's right there. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, no, he found us. He found us. We got to run. Oh, we got to run. Oh, we might die here. We might die here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, we got into the water. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, no. <laughs> we got hit from behind, and now we're a seeker. All right, so like I was saying, I was going to do the same restrictions that they have at Penn State, something like that. I was thinking about, or even taking a really bad team in a good conference like Kentucky. As the game's over, the hiders have won. So let me know what you guys think. It's been really great uh, having you guys watch the video. And I'm Mr. Best Kept Secret, and I'll see you next time. See you, YouTube. Chase up